and welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia with Stitches by Patty. If you're new here, guys, guess what I did today? I edited a YouTube video. I edited the Q&A. So that is going to be up today. Um, today is January. <gasps> oh my god. I just realized my friends and I have plans today. My god, you guys. I'm such a dummy. Okay, first of all, I'm already changed into my home clothes. You know, a nice slouchy shirt, some sweatpants, and I have a whole laundry list of things that I need to do tonight. And I forgot I have a pasta making class today. Well, I guess I better work on those stitch markers and at least do that before I leave. I think I have to leave at 7. It's like 6.40. And I literally just ordered food too. Well, guys, I have to re-upload my YouTube video because I never finished uploading and then i closed my computer and yada 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 okay crochet chat q and a how do i find markets favorite creators oh well why is it taking two hours before when i was uploading it said 40 minutes it's not a long video i think it's like 20 minutes or something this is what happens when you overbook yourself and you keep up with work, a small business, your social life. My school is coming back soon. I think it's starting this week, if I'm not wrong. So update, I finished the stitch markers with like 10 minutes to spare. Let me show you guys on the couch because you can't really see them like this. I had to put some flash on so you can really see the sparkle. But it's so pretty. So this is the custom balloon dog she requested. And then we have the sparkly gummy bear, and then we have the other sparkly gummy bear. And I think they're both really cute. These ones I already had listed, but I did remake them because I think I took the other ones. Um, but yeah, that's how they look. They look very, very pretty. I love them. Now, guys, this table is not for the vertically challenged, so if you get on your tippy toes, really press and roll. I was making you roll. Fabulous. <laughs> Y'all listen, fabulous. No, we're just I was arranging that. Very cute. Hey guys, I think they love me or something. I'm talking to the vlog. I can't even eat this. Hello guys, I'm home from work. Yesterday was so hectic, you guys. I literally just made those three stitch markers and I rushed out the door. Like, I changed and I rushed out the door. Oh my god, that was so crazy. Um, I'm a dummy. And I, you know what the funny thing is? I hung out with my friend on Sunday and our class was on Monday. And we talked about the class on Monday. And then I totally, I was just like in the mood, in the groove to work. Don't mind my pictures, all messed up. Anyways, I was in the groove to work. And then... <laughs> And then when I said it's January 22nd, that's when I realized, I'm like, oh, shoot, like, I have something to do. So, anyways, that's that. I'm just waiting for the dogs to eat, and then we can go on a walk. And then you guys, guess what? You guys sold me out of my balloon dog stitch markers, which I am so grateful for you guys, but I did keep one for myself. I kept a little pink one. So, I'm going to make the remainder, the remaining six today. Four are being shipped out tomorrow. One, I'm going to ship to Addison when I ship her the giveaway prizes, um, the custom ones. Do you guys want to know what I'm going to work on today? I'm going to work on Addison's carry the kangaroo pattern. I, <laughs> I started making one. I started making a little baby that goes in the pouch because I realized I probably should make that before, you know, um, I do the mama one. It just it makes sense the way the pattern is written. So anyways, I picked like a light pink velvet color. <laughs> And my kangaroo looks like a little naked mole rat. But, oh no, Peanut! Are you ready? You ready? Hi, my mm -hmm. honey bunny. Oh, okay, Peanut. Okay. Good morning! I have a long list of things to do, but today we're just 
going to focus on making the stitch marker orders and then carry the kangaroo. I'm probably gonna watch Lari on YouTube. She put out a new video today teaching her husband how to crochet, so I'm excited for that. And yeah, um, that's what I have to do. Here are the six that are left. I did set the lighter pink one aside for myself, and the other ones are sold. Anyways, long story short, I got some more stitch markers for myself because it's fun. It's a good break from crochet too, and I think that is all for now. I don't know. I'm a little spacey right now. I was like sitting scrolling shopping, and it like totally messed me up, okay? So anyways... I will be back with an update for you guys once I finish the stitch markers. Good morning, guys. I just wanted to say yesterday, I literally barely got anything done. Like, I was doing things, but I never really finished anything. I did finish the stitch markers. I'm going to show you guys those now, but I'm in, like, survival mode today, so please excuse me. Okay, so here are some of the customer stitch markers. We have a champagne pink with pink beads. Very cute. This one's for Cassidy. Then we have a purple, blue, and green chrome dog with black beads and some lime green and clear and this one is for Nicole and then these two are actually for Isabel um, this is her second order with me and she picked an all white um, theme of beads for this one and then this one we did some pinks I think they're really cute I just had them here so you guys can see better but it's kind of dark and then this one is for Addison. She picked the green one. She wanted green or white, and I told her, I'm like, I like the green better for you. And then I did a mix of all green beads with some white in between. And then I did snatch one up for myself. I got the pink one, and it's sparkly. You can't see, but it's sparkly. And it's pinkish, purplish blue. And then I added some pink, blue, and light pink beads for mine. Anyways, I'm going to pack these up right now, and I got to get out of the house. Today's round is all done, and now I have to go to work. I will talk to you guys later, but I did finish some kangaroo parts. I'm actually going to... Hey! I'm actually going to take my kangaroo with me! I'm actually going to take my kangaroo in the car with me so I can work on it, but I did finish a lot of it, so... Hello, hello, hello! It has been a couple days since I recorded... Oh my goodness, I have my kangaroo on the table. I wanted to show you guys, I finished it last night. Um, this week has been very hectic for me. I haven't been feeling like, you know, my best self. I don't, I've been just so stressed out this week and there's really no reason I needed to be that stressed, but I was just so off this whole week and today is Thursday and I'm finally like, okay, like I'm okay, I'm all right. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow's Friday and my sister's gonna sleep over and we're gonna go get our nails done Saturday morning. I actually have to call the place tomorrow and see if I can make an appointment. You guys, I have been market prepping some Octos today. So it took me a while to get home today when I was coming home from work. So I was able to get three Octopi done, which is pretty good, I feel. I think I might have one more in my bag, actually. So maybe I made four. I'm not sure, but this bag is really just Oxos. Do you guys want to like go over this with me? I think I might have um, I might have mentioned or I might have recorded these in my last vlog. You guys, you know what? I put the I put the pop socket on my phone, and now um, I can't like necessarily prop it up on things. So I just put like something under the pop socket so that it's more straight up but anyways here are my three green octos i think this color is called ice green from sweet snuggles light or chanel home slim one of those two then last time i had my goals of making the octos i do have five of these blue ones this is blue shadow from chanel home slim that I know for sure. Okay, the fifth one is somewhere in here. Then I have five of these Dusty Rose ones. And I'm actually working on a project using this yarn. But anyways. And then I also have five of these ones. I think it's called Sailor's Delight from Burnout Blanket. Let's put one of each of these colors on my fingers. So you can see the color palette. I think they all work really well together. Do I have another color in here? No. So this is the color palette right now. 
Um, I'm going to see what other colors I have because I do want to use up some of the colors that um, I just don't use enough. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I don't really use bright colors. I tend to go for the muted tones. And I like having the bright colors, you know, um, just in general because they're pretty, but I'm those aren't my favorite, you know what I'm saying? I want to say 19 octos, which isn't bad, it's not great either. And then I have a couple frogs that just need to be stuffed and an extra round needs to be added to them. <gasps> oh my gosh, I almost pulled it out. Oh no, I did pull it out. LOL, let's fix that really quick. <laughs> I love it. So how have you guys been? I've been literally in the trenches. You know what really messed me up? My issue with my apartment last week and I really wasn't able to crochet at all. So hee <laughs> hee. Let's put those in here. So I haven't really been able to crochet at all last week. Only Friday was I able to crochet, and I don't think I made that much anyways. Also, I made this baby kangaroo in this pink color, but like it kind of looks like a naked mole rat, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I think I also, I haven't worked on my koala pattern at all. I'm still stuck on this. I need to change this. It's really making me mad. And then I do also have the turtle parts that I started working on, and I really want to finish this guy. But I kind of want to change the shell color. I don't know if I'm vibing with it, but whatever. That is that. Today I bought the pa I bought a pattern from Madeline Mako. I think it's her. It's not her Highland cow. I think it's the Longhorn cow or whatever it's called. I'll put a picture here because I don't even remember what the name of it was i just know my friend addison was testing it for her and she made really cute ones so i wanted to make one too and i'm using this rose color for the accent color and then the body will be in seed pearl the majority of it and then pink accent i don't know i think it's gonna look really cute um i also want to make different color combinations but you know how i am you guys i also want to make another Little Sleepy Elephant, Samba the Sleeping Elephant by Molly Inspired Crochet, but you guys know how I am. I do have to start market prepping though because um, I do have a market March 9th, then I have a another market in April, and I have another market in April. So I really need to just like set up all my stuff and have a crazy amount ready so I'm not stressed. Did I ever show you guys the koi fish I made? I also made a koi fish right after the new year i think anyways i feel like i've made a bunch of stuff and i don't even remember what i shared with you guys and what i didn't and i also want to make another posy the fairy dragon pattern from refined vibes and i also really want to start my koala anyways um that is that i'm going to continue working on my cow but i have been working on a lot of stitch marker orders like i said you guys sold me out and I've just, whenever I went to Michael's, I would buy beads and I would just make one for myself. I would post it, people would want it. So I've been doing that as well, which I'm not complaining. I've also been doing the sticker stuff, which that's taken up a lot of my time too. And I feel like that situation made me really frustrated as well because it was just such a headache to get the machine um, working the way I wanted to. I want to market prep a bunch of my little um, flowers, a bunch of my little flower plushies. Um, some floral friends, the mini versions, maybe a couple big versions, and then I also need to prep a whole bunch of like crochet flowers and stuff. So anyways, that's where I'm at. I'm not going to even think about that stuff right now because I just want to make the cow and I'm going to try to finish her today, okay? That is all I'm going to say. I'm going to get back to crocheting. I'm watching my friend Melly on YouTube. She just posted a new video today and she's talking about her new so uh, Samba the Sleepy Elephant pattern and her sleepy collection. So I'm just so excited. I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for her and Addison both. They came out with two really amazing patterns. Good morning, guys. It is another gloomy day here today, but I was packing my work bag and throwing out whatever garbage I had in there. And look, I found my other OXO. So I do have four of them made. That means I really just need one more to have a full set because I like to do things in fives. But now I'm going to show you guys the kangaroo that I never got to show you guys yesterday. It's really cute. Um, it's part of Addison's Murphy Crochet's Marsupial Mama collection. So 
if you guys didn't know all of her patterns have like a mama and baby and they're in pouches so this is carrie the kangaroo and her baby joey and that's her little pouch and little joey they're so freaking cute um i might embroider another eyelash because i feel like this is not giving what it's going what it was supposed to give and I also want to make some more Joey's just so I can switch them out and they could be like a little family. And anyways, um, so cute. I love her. You guys, um, this collection is like one of my favorites by far. And then also Melly's Sleepy collection, which I'm going to show you guys again. Look at my best friends making like such cute patterns. I love them. Anyways, there's some new patterns coming in the Sleepy collection, which I'm super excited for. Also... I found this account, Cozy Wonders Crochet, and she is coming out with the cutest little loveys. Like, they're little. She has, I know, she, I remember she has a frog and, like, a fawn, a deer. And those are the ones I'm most excited for. But I know she had other ones. And she said I could test them if I want. So I'm going to do that because I'm so excited for them. The frog is literally so freaking adorable. So anyways, that's that. And did I show you, I know I showed you guys my mandrake, but I really love this one too. And I'm going to include a picture here of how I took pictures of it in plant pot. It was like this. So cute. Anyways, you guys, I am going to pack my, like, snacks for, for work because I really didn't make anything. And I haven't this these past two weeks. So I'm just a mess. Anyways, that's what I'm going to do. And I will talk to you guys later. My sister will be over later. I don't know if I'm going to do any crochet. Oh! I remember what I wanted to show you guys. Hold on. I was working on the cow yesterday, right? And I'm a dummy. I attached the legs in the wrong direction. This is what I got up to. I'm almost done with it. But you guys can see there's not a lot of color changes on this side. And that's because they're on this side. And this was supposed to be the front of the body. But I attached the legs the other way. So that's that. I do have all the small pieces ready as well. It's a long horn. So here are the long horns. And I do have the ears and the mouth. But... I'm, I'm in a rush, so I'm not going to show you guys that right now. You will see the finished product, though, and I'm I'm super happy with the colors I chose, too. Hey, Emily. Oh, no. What do you have to say about the fans calling you a queen? Um, I'd like to say that you guys, is, you guys are queens back. Okay, so you guys are all queens, too. <laughs> also, someone else guys, said... Guys, I'm her maid for today. Someone else said... <laughs> that you're really funny oh my like god thank you like you crack them up yeah that's great and that you remind them of their own daughter that's you're welcome <laughs> all right guys anyways we're gonna order some food yes and then we're gonna get our nails done tomorrow because you want to show really them know. your your nails <gasps> Gross! okay it's crazy but also, I was wrapping her yarn because I'm cleaning her apartment for her because, you know, I'm I just hope you know I'm going to cut that out. Anyways, I was wrapping her yarn and I broke my nail. But I glued it together, but it was like almost falling off. Well, it was falling off, but this is the thumb with no muscle and you can't even see it because it's not focusing. Good for you though. Yeah, thank you. So what about a baby <laughs> Anyways, you guys, um, oh my god, I forgot to tell you, okay, so, I forgot to tell you because I wasn't home, but, um, I've been following this girl, Cozy Wonders Crochet, her name is Sydney, and I started following her because Melly tags me in one of her tester calls for a wyvern pattern, it's like a dragon looking thing, I don't know what a wyvern is, but it's really cute, and his name is Echo. But it's a really cute, so I was like, let me follow her because I would have loved to have tested it, but I'm just, you know, I was just having a tough time, swamped, whatever. But she posted recently some cute lovey patterns, like small lovey patterns, and you can either either make them like a full-on plushie or you can leave it as a lovey, and they're so tiny and cute. So anyways, like I couldn't stop thinking about it, and I commented on her post. I was like, I'm obsessed, like, I need them. <laughs> and she was like, oh, well, I have a te pattern tester call coming soon. I was like, is that an invitation? And then she DM'd me, and she was like, if you'd like to test, like, you can, of course. I was like, oh, my God, like, yeah, count me in. So, anyway, she sent me all the patterns today, and I'm so excited to try them out. So, that's probably what I'm going to do while my sister is here today. I was going to edit can a... you show me? 
Yeah, I did. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> you look like um like a two thousand. I know, the guys. This is my new bralette, guys. I feel so like summery. I don't know. I feel great. It's a vibe. Yes, it is. That's how I used to dress when I was in uh, elementary school. But now I want to make those lovies, and since my sister's here, we're going to watch a podcast or something that's yes. she wants me to watch. Yes! Wait, can I recommend them something, please? Sure. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, whoa, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, please hear me out. I know it's kind of dumb, but listen, please go watch the Dropouts podcast. Don't zoom in on this. <laughs> Dropouts podcast and suburb talks there on YouTube. Oh my god. My sister has found the newest marsupial mama. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> do you guys know what these are? If you do, comment below. But <laughs> I just made one of every color. Oh, these little stars. They're so cute. I used to make these all the time in middle school. And if you guys seen my haul <laughs> with the stickers and balloon dogs and stuff, you would know that this is what it's for. And I've just been making them. And my sister's working on some too. She said she hates it, but I think they're so cute. And yeah, I love them. So it's a nice pastime. It's a nice like fidget. These were like the OG fidgets when I was in school, okay? And we used to go to Chinatown and we would get a bunch of these star paper strips and we would make them during lunch. In other news, I also made all the parts to the little froggy lovey. Look at his head, so cute. And then this is his body. I didn't stuff it. And I'm just gonna sew all the parts on and maybe I'll stick in the eyes and do the blush and stuff later. But yeah, it was actually really pr quick to make. Like all the parts are small and you can make it almost all no so but i just tested the pattern as it is and then if i make them in the future i'm probably gonna try to do it no so good morning guys it is so dark and gloomy again today and it's really messing me up because look i finished the little frog lovey yesterday he's so cute so basically i made it out of um premier basics chenille and it is tougher, right? Because it's single crochet. It's not like the half double crochet. So it's like a little tough, but it's like so nice. The eyes aren't glued in. I really, I put them in because this is how she has it in the pattern. I'm not sure if I want to add, you know, um, what is it called? Embroidered eyes because I, I'm bad at doing circles. So this is what it looks like. Maybe I'll put felt on it. I don't know, <laughs> but it's so cute. Also yesterday I edited all of like 20 minutes of my video and i have two hours and like 48 minutes left to edit but i love her anyways i wanted to take pictures of pudge the squish it's so dark and gloomy so i don't know what i'm gonna do and and what else i have to get dressed it's like seven or maybe it's like eight wow that would be kind of bad i have to go walk the dogs also and i wanted to take pictures of carrie the kangaroo and her little joey her little roo <laughs> But, um, like I said, it's, like, terrible, the lighting, so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Guess what? We're late! <laughs> yeah, I kept waking her up, and she's like, ow. Anyways, we have ten minutes to get there, so that's fun. Our nails are done. And we're picking up Starbucks. This isn't even for me, it's for my brother. I didn't get anything. Oh, wow. Yeah, and we're waiting for her grilled cheese. We're back at Michael's today. I have my two minions with me. And I just need to restock in some colors. I'm not sure what, but if they have some other colors I like, I will get those as well. So, um, My sister doesn't want to be in the video, so we're going to avoid her. Um, I'm drawing a blank on what I needed. You know why? Because I forgot my notebook in the car. So that's great. I know I needed sand, I think it's called. Is this sand? Yes, it is. Oh, that was good. I made it in the basket. Okay, guys, let me look around and then... Oh, should I get another blue shadow? You think I, I should get another one? I use it for the elephant. Oh, maybe we should get it. Oh, actually, maybe not. Wow, they have a lot of fogs. Okay, my sister said we should get this one, 
but look they're like so restocked today this is crazy wow this is gonna be such a big michael's haul i feel i don't know they're so stocked up on everything well maybe not these but oh they have the new one why would you ever make anything with these they have the new one guys that was rude they have loops and threads skinny chenille okay so they only have a few colors i don't know actually how many are in there oh wait i like this pink better what do you think Mm -hmm. i like the top one i'm saying i like both of them together this one is called starfish really cute name but let's see it's 100 percent polyester there's 524 yards in this okay for ten dollars and the regular loops and threads sweet snuggles light is 174 yards for the same amount that is insane so i'm gonna pick up some of these um because I've been wanting to try it out. I really, my sister's like, what are you gonna use this for? But I don't like it. And then she I said elephant. elephant. Yeah, but. Elephants look good with like speckles. I love elephants. And speckles. I really like this one too. I feel like this reminds me of like a dinosaur. Yeah, but I don't, mm, I don't know. I have like a similar texture in white and I think I have a similar Wait, this color in so this. this so cute together. These yeah. two? Wait, I think I have a similar color in this, so I'm not gonna get it. Because I have um, the one from Lion Brand Nap Time. So I'm not going to get that. But I do want to get a green. They also have green. This is called Froggy. That's so cute. And then, okay, hold the okay, camera for a second. a little crazy right now. Wait, am I blocking? Yes. Because <laughs> you gave me the... Okay, wait. Then they have these two blues. And this one's... Hold on. This one's called Bluebird, and this darker one is called Whale. Which one is nicer? Because I have like um, like an ice cream color. I Should like I just it. get all of them? Yeah, just get all of them. Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. Come here, Anne. Oh. I don't think my bag is going to be enough. Getting orders up here. Yeah, so Would you rather do it yourself? These guys. We all have stuff. Oopsie! <laughs> I was gonna say my sister wants to share something, but she kind of just said it herself. Yeah. Cute little bag. It's very soft. And I got I, it for $15 at Primark. 14, 14, 14, whatever. I don't know, but it's really nice. Like, and I, if I needed one, I actually would have gotten one too. My brother's just here for the ride. That's it. Um, we're gonna go to Cotton On. I don't know why, because I'm not getting her anything. Sorry, it's guys. Okay, I'll dad. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright guys, our last stop is Target. They didn't have my bread at Lidl. I, I couldn't get it from my mom either, so we're going home. But I'm so exhausted. I went to sleep at like what, Emily? 1 a.m. yesterday? 12. No, it was 30. after. I don't know, but whatever. It was late and then I woke up at 6 today. While my sister was sleeping and making us late. Yes. So we're gonna <laughs> just head to Target for one last thing for my mom. Um stop by my house really quick and then i will take these munchkins home and then it's craft time guys okay that's all my brother i don't know what he's doing but that's just what he is hey guys i'm home now it's like 4 20 or something i've been out of the house since 8 30 but i wasn't going to say anything but as you guys know i technically have three dogs I live with Peanut and Honey, and then Brownie stays at my parents' house because he got attached to my sister, like, when she was born, so he stays there. I didn't take him when I moved, and me and Brownie are 10 years apart. That means he's 15, 15 and a half. His birthday's in August. He's been aging, which is normal, like, he's been losing some of his vision, some of his hearing, all normal things of aging but he's been getting a lot worse the past since yesterday i'm really upset <laughs> he's displaying symptoms that like we haven't seen on him before so i just feel really heavy right now because some things are inevitable and i hope he gets over what he's experiencing right now but but you never know so i do have to figure out what would happen if things went south 
I spoke to one vet clinic today, but I really want to speak to the one that's closest to me where he's registered, where he's a patient. So it's just, it's hard on me because he's been with us for, for so long. Literally, I think, <laughs> I think the same year that we moved into that apartment is the same year we got Brownie. And he's, he's like been with us ever since, you know, he's been with my sister and my brother their entire lives so anyways i will keep you guys updated because i just i don't want to think the worst but at the same time i don't want to i don't want to deny the fact that he is getting older and that he's never displayed these symptoms so anyways um just be patient with me if i'm not like vlogging if this vlog gets cut short that's why and yeah i'm gonna go walk my two babies and then I'll give you guys a yarn haul, but if I seem if I seem a little off, that is why. Um, I do have a lilac fuzzy turtle to get working on when I come back. And I have to put the groceries away. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know and be transparent because uh <laughs> I know like the past week like has just been hard on me in general. And then like this just it just makes me feel really heavy all right guys peanut and honey have been walked and i'm going to show you what i got on my goals because it's a lot so anyways um i also got like air dried clay so we can imprint brownies paw prints on it we did that already but my sister forgot the mod podge at my house so it's fine but i also got these really pretty beads for Michael's and I'm going to make them into stitch markers and then my sister picked out some elephant ones which I thought were really cute I know Melly will probably want one but you guys know what's exciting I know I don't sound excited right now but it really is exciting um at my Michael's I found the skinny chenille I don't remember where I saw it but Addison sent me a reel of someone having the skinny chenille from loops and threads so i got a couple to try them out and you know what it's very similar to nap time yarn let me see if i can find the skein i literally just had one and i don't know where i put it i found it okay so this is the nap time yarn from lion brand and this is what it looks like and i although these colors are similar i did get the green because i thought it was pretty so Hold on, let's see if we can line them up. They're practically identical in thickness. And okay, so this is classified as a four medium. I don't know, I don't, I mean, yeah, I guess it's a four medium, but um, it says a six and a half millimeter crochet hook for this one. I usually use three or three and a half. So I'm probably gonna use the same with the loops and threads one this color is froggy i thought that was such a cute color name anyways this is froggy and each skein has 524 yards it's eight and eight point seven five ounces 480 meters or 250 grams so those are the specs on this yarn so this is froggy i also got piglet why <laughs> didn't look at the color names they're so cute so froggy piglet i got this blue and this one is called Whale. I think they're all named after animals, which is adorable. Oh my god, this one is called Toucan Multi. <laughs> that is so cute. I wasn't sure if I should get this color, but I ended up getting it because why not? We need some variegated stuff in here. And this one is called Polar Bear. Are you kidding me? It's like a creamy, it's like a creamy white. I think it's so adorable. And then I also did pick up the light blue color. And this is Bluebird. So we have woo, oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> i can't hold them all so we have piglet bluebird whale polar bear froggy and toucan multi and i think they're so cute these are also going to last a very long time i'm not sure what i'm going to make with them probably keychains because they're a nice thickness for that but then my sister told me i should get this one it's a speckled blue yarn and this is chenille home slim and navy speckle i think it's really pretty and then I just stocked up on some cream because I use this one a lot and sand as well. These are some of my most used colors. So I did stock up on those. Um, and that's all I got for like the thicker yarn. But you guys, I also like went to the mall with my, with my siblings. And I got just this plain black 
party zip up um it was twelve dollars at aeropostal it was twelve dollars at aeropostal and i used to have a heather gray one just like this like from years ago like probably like 10 years ago and they still make them so i did pick up the black one it's very comfortable um and thin and then i also got some black slippers not that i need any more my sister was laughing at me but i did i got those as well oh and then those are from primark and then from arrow i also got just another black cropped tank top um, on the bungee cords i think they're discontinuing these which is very sad because these are my favorite tank tops to wear under hoodies and stuff like that i have one on right now under this one from primark i just got a men's oh my god i didn't know this was a t-shirt oh, i'm so annoyed at myself now i thought it was a long sleeve but it's okay i mean it's just a plain shirt i'm gonna wear it regardless so it's it's um it's a waffle knit texture ten dollars which i think is ex is expensive for primark but whatever and i also stopped for uh, i also stopped into sephora to just pick up another one of my mascara conditioners or lash conditioners it's a base for mascara and i really hope i got the right one because they also have one that like it's like fluff to make your lashes longer no this is the good one okay because i was running out of this and then at checkout i also saw this cleansing balm from pharmacy it's called green clean and makeup melt away cleansing balm i don't wear face makeup um i do just wear like i put on i fill in my eyebrows and then i wear mascara obviously you guys know i wear mascara and sometimes i will wear some eyeliner but i thought this was nice to like double cleanse you know and that is all that i got my sister got a few things my brother i don't even know if he got anything i was asking him if he wants something but i don't think he ended up getting anything um he did get cotton candy which he was very happy about but that's what i got at michael's today and i'm super excited to make stuff with the new skinny chenille yarn i think it'll be really fun um and i do have some exciting news about fuzzy turtles but i am not ready to share that update yet i will share it once it's concrete all right guys there have actually been some slight changes to my plan for tonight i realized that i have to finish the cow plushie that i was making in order to start the fawn for cozy wonders crochet i'm gonna finish that but before i do all any of that i'm going to make the fuzzy turtle order because orders come first orders are a priority and also i wanted to update you guys me and my sister made a whole bunch of these yesterday and she actually ended up liking them after like you know she got more of the hang of it and you guys know what we did today when we went to pick up my brother at for my parents house i had them all in my pocket <laughs> And I slipped some into his shoes, and I slipped some into my mom's jacket and some into my dad's jacket, and we'll just have like a little, a little, a, I forget what the British saying for it is. There's like a, like a, like a saying that I, I've been hearing all the time. Anyways, they'll have a little surprise in their jackets and shoes. Um, but yeah, this, these are like great for de-stressing. Um, you can get them on Amazon, um, at asian craft stores they should be able to have them so anyways that's that i'm going to start the lilac fuzzy turtle and then we'll take it from there i'm gonna put on some youtube or something watch something hey guys i just wanted to show you an update miss oh miss lilac turtle is all done and she's on her way to new hampshire on monday and i also finished the longhorn cow and i think it's really cute I didn't put in the eyes or anything, but like I told you guys before, this was supposed to be the front of the body, and also I'm not sure how the spot got so off-center, but it did. Anyways, she's cute or whatever. Um, I would definitely remake this cow because I'm just so mad that I attached the, right, the legs in the wrong direction. I attached them the way I usually put them in my patterns, and she had it the other way, so anyways, that's what I did there, but yes, these two are done, and... It's 11 p.m. so I'm not going to be making anything else but I am just going to wash my makeup off and lay in bed even if I don't go to sleep. Also, my nails kind of match really nicely with this yarn color. Good morning guys and good morning for my little peanut butter. It is Sunday. It's like I think 10 probably. I woke up late today. I let myself sleep in because I never really sleep in. If you guys didn't know, 
we have a lot to do today. That's just, it is what it is. Every weekend we got a lot to do. Not him though. He doesn't have a lot to do. But I do have a lot to do. I have to take some pictures. I also have to pick giveaway winners, which is not hard, but I do want to double check that I didn't miss any entries. Yeah, <laughs> me and Addison are going to message the winners and whatnot. So that is what we're doing today. I also got picked to test um, Cupid and Pig Arena. They're, it's a Cupid and a ballerina piggy, and I think they're really cute. The pattern test is for Crochet Crochet and Fluff Bay... Fluff Bay Ball Chen. Oh my god. I can't remember. I don't know how to say her username is what I meant to say. I'll put their ads over here. And they're really cute. So I'm probably going to work on that today too. I also have to test the remaining lovies for Sydney. Um, Don't mind him just going to town. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. Bernie has not felt better. No changes. Um, so there, my parents are probably going to take him to the vet tomorrow. I say probably because it depends if the vet will be able to take him. But that is that. I already cried last night, which is why I didn't record. So um, that's what's happening. I'm going to take some pictures of the, of the longhorn cow that I made yesterday. And then we'll, we'll do some computer work and then we'll get to crafting. Oh my god, there's something in my eye. But I ate breakfast today already, so that's good. I also wanted to show you guys the Longhorn with eyes in. Um, they're not glued in yet. I just put them in because I wanted to take pictures. But that's like one of the things that I will probably regret when I'm market prepping. Because I will, will need to glue in all of these safety eyes and stuff. All the small plushies. But here she is. I think she's adorable. Okay, and look. Floppy limbs. Floppy limbs. We love floppy limbs. So I just took pictures of this little guy, and then I'm gonna make a reel with the carry the kangaroo. I just took pictures of that. I'm really upset that I messed up the colors, like the leg placement actually, but whatever. She's still cute. All right, ladies and gents, so here's what happened since I last spoke to you. I picked the giveaway winners, so congratulations to all the ladies who won. Um, we will be shipping your packages out soon within like a week um well the the makers one will ship very soon but the customer one will ship it in like a week a week and a half because we have to make the items for you and the international giveaway i'm just putting together a link to send over all the patterns and yeah so that's done and then i also packed miss lilac fuzzy turtle and i think that's that i don't know what else i did i did the dishes today but I think that was before I spoke to you guys. Anyways, I think I'm going to start on the little fawn lovey. And I also... Or should I do the pig... The pig arena? I don't know. So many options. I'm gonna figure out what to start and then I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll do the pig arena plushie. And um, I'll use the new skinny chenille peanut. That was very rude. He keeps nudging my arm. You guys seem to really be loving my reel <laughs> where I use that sound. It's like, yeah. and it's like, I told you I need more glue. You guys seem to really like that one. So anyways, we are here at my hot glue station, which is just on top of like the TV console thing. Okay, let me show you guys a little piggy. He's so cute. This is Pigarina. Miss Pigarina. And I'm going to add eyelashes, which is why I want to glue the eyes in. Because I can't do the eyelashes until they're glued in. I mean, you can also, you know, attach them with the backing. But I'm so lazy when it comes to attaching safety eyes. Like, I just want to crochet. You guys know what? I actually have whips. Work in progress. Um, because I usually don't, okay? I like to finish things as I make them because it makes me mad. But we have several whips. We have a fluffy bunny that I was doing. I forget who the crochet pattern is by. If I remember, I will put it on the screen. So that's lovely, you know? How can I finish something I don't know who it's by? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I have that one. I have a turtle whip. I have actually two more turtle whips. I have a baby kangaroo that I just literally need to sew the head onto the body, add eyes, and like 
embroider the nose. And I have my koala pattern that I started to make and then I never did. Piggy. Also, I made this really cute koi fish. I forget who the pattern's by, but here's who it's by. Um, and we're gonna add some 14 millimeter eyes to her. To her. I'm kind of upside and just go with the traditional colors for this. Honestly, I don't know what I was thinking. And sometimes <laughs> when my hot glue spills over, I literally just take it with my finger, burn myself a little bit, and um, it's all good. Anyways, that's what I'm going to do. So I have several plushies that I need to do that too. I also have my two giraffes. I have the frog lovey, which I have mixed feelings about if I should put if I should glue the safety eyes on there, so maybe I just won't for now. The wireless hot glue gun, I don't know, I don't think it's worth it. I was reading reviews, or like, I was reading something, I don't even know if it was a review, I think it might have just been like, the item description, and basically it comes on like, you know those charger things that drills have on the bottom, the batteries? So it's basically like that, and the hot glue gun will only stay hot for like, a few seconds while you're gluing. And then you have to put it back, it gets hot again, and then you can use it again. Which I guess it makes sense, like it wouldn't be so terrible for plushies, but I just, it's fine. At least this way I'm forced to do it on a flat surface rather than on my couch. And I don't have like random, random strands of hot glue on my couch, you know? Oh, Georgia is so cute and she's still available for adoption, so someone please go adopt her she's just adorable anyways the reason why i'm doing this also because i was just going to glue i was just going to glue the piggy eyes but then remember how i was telling you guys it always bites me in the butt when i don't glue the eyes onto my plushies and then i have to do it before my market and i get stressed out because i literally hate doing it yeah so because of that i just took all the big plushies that i didn't glue the eyes onto uh and I'm doing that now because I'm not doing that for the frogs right now. I'm not doing that for the octopi. Simply because they're not even stuffed or sewn together. So I'm not going to put the eyes in. Maybe I'll even try to actually put the safety eye backings onto them. We'll see. So cute. I love all of them. Okay, I'm going to go uh, check on my food. <laughs> I am going to make Miss Pegarina using chenille, skinny chenille. Home Slim, Skinny Chenille, whatever. I'm going to use that yarn. And then I could not find my my darker pink in that kind of texture. So I'm going to use Premier's Pixie Dust in a darker pink. And it's the same, um, it's the same thickness. I use, <laughs> I use the same, I use the same hook size, a three and a half for both of them. So, oh, why are you being so sweet? I'm just kidding. He's always sweet. He's always like the best little baby honey's looking out the window playing security that's what she does all the time just so you guys know anytime we're sitting on the couch that's what she's doing and if she's my room if, if, and and when i'm not home and she's in and she's in my room she'll lay on the pillows and look out the window that way guess what i did guys i took a nap and i woke up at 4 30 it's 7 14 right now but guess what i finished the piggies so i'm going to show you because i made one in parfait chunky and i made the other one in the skinny chenille from my goals and this is the difference it's basically half the size just so you guys know this piggy is 32 single crochet around and it is so cute and tiny i absolutely love it i can't get over these um they're so cute this pattern is by crochet crochet and fluff bait fluff bail chen I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but I will put it on the screen. Anyways, um, I freaking love these. And I will say this about the, about the skinny chenille. You get so much more for your money with this yarn. This comes with 574 yards, okay? And it's still $10. Same thing as the um, chenille home slim. And I just think it's a great value for it. It's perfect for keychains. It's perfect if you want to make small little plushies. I will say if you want to charge more for your plushies, do not use it because it is tiny. And the sparkly yarn is Premier Pixie Dust. I couldn't find the darker color that I have of the pink in the nap time yarn. So I did just use Premier Pixie Dust, but I used a three and a half millimeter hook and it feels very soft. It's kind of like, I would say um, it is like Premier Parfait Chunky, like Chenille Home Slim. 
and stuff like that but because it's much thinner the wisp it's not as wispy it's not as fluffy um it's it doesn't shed as much and i found that to be true for the nap time yarn from lion brand as well um but it's very pleasant to work with it's soft it's not as soft as parfait chunky uh because it's just not as fluffy but it is super soft it feels very smooth um i had no problem working with it it's very it slides on your hook very easily so i highly recommend you try this yarn out especially if you want to make keychains and smaller stuff like that because sometimes you know when you um use parfait chunky they come out very big for keychains and you don't necessarily want to sacrifice the integrity of the pattern and you know make it weird shapes and make it smaller with parfait chunky so for projects like that I would use the skinny chenille. I just love it. Honestly, I freaking love it. And I would love to make more stuff with it. So if you have any um, any ideas on what I can make with skinny chenille, let me know down in the comments. I really want to make fish keychains, like the Bebe, Bebe the fish keychains. I think they would be so cute. 